Here, the Defence Department has had to apologise for mistakenly counting almost $200 million in military spending in Afghanistan as foreign aid. And the mistake is forcing the government to revise its claims on the size of the aid budget. It's being accused of rubbery figures, as our chief political correspondent, Karen Middleton, explains in this exclusive report. It's a $200 million Defence Department mistake. A third of what's been called aid for Afghanistan in the past six years wasn't aid at all, but military spending. I wish to apologise for this error and any inconvenience it has caused. The OECD sets guidelines for what qualifies as overseas development aid. Defence has included the allowances for personnel providing security for aid projects and the security costs themselves. It's now told a Senate inquiry it's discovered they don't actually qualify. And so once that was uncovered, then it was quite easy to talk to AusAid and say, look, we think we've uncovered a problem here. Right. So does that mean AusAid doesn't check your figures on what's ODA eligible? Um, they do now. Under the guidelines, the costs of personnel delivering aid are eligible, but not their regular salaries and expenses. In October, Greens Senator Lee Rhiannon questioned Defence's calculations. It should be noted that these costs exclude the cost of the ADF personnel providing force protection to the reconstruction force. So it's really only those doing the reconstruction work or the, the actual tasks. But we would call that expenses. But the general was wrong. Force protection costs were included last financial year. Likewise, defence engineering and trade training activities back to 2006 and the costs of operating military checkpoints. Aid organisations say there's too much white elephant spending for military objectives. Why is defence and ADF in this space at all in delivering aid? It should be left to the aid professionals. The department's now corrected the general statement and its original figures. No longer $255 million in aid, but $57 million. I'm not suggesting you guys are doing anything wrong, but this is serious smoke and mirrors that's going on here. Can I assure you, we are not trying to do any smoke and mirrors. Senator Rhiannon says the aid budget's looking rubbery. The Australian government largely has had a good faith arrangement with the Australian people that our aid dollar is working to relieve poverty. There's now a big question mark over how, to what extent that is really happening. And the government's confirmed some aid for Papua New Guinea is being spent on immigration facilities on Manus Island. And we think this is actually undermining public faith in the aid program. Having promised foreign aid spending would equal half a percent of GDP in three years, from 0.35 per cent currently, the government's now revising its figures. It delayed an increase in the May budget to save $3 billion. Defence's miscalculation now means it's another $200 million further behind. Karen Middleton, World News Australia.